What is a single action pistol and what is a double action pistol? You may have come across these terms and been a bit confused by them. Uh, well, I have here a single action pistol. It's a, what I would call a revolver, but I would also call it a pistol because I'm British and anything like this is a pistol, be it a revolver or an automatic. Anyway, this is a single action Colt Army. It's actually a replica. It's the the classic, if you like, cowboy gun, and it is, importantly, a single action pistol. Unlike these two other pistols, this one, for instance, is an Enfield No. 2, the sort of standard issue World War II British Army pistol that uh, tank crewmen and officers might be given. Uh, it wasn't actually the most commonly uh, used in action, but it was the, the standard issue. And this, a more modern Smith & Wesson, which I can tell you straight away is quite a bit heavier than the other two. Right, so this is a single action pistol. So if uh, an enemy suddenly surprises me and I, I do a quick draw in a cowboy fashion and I point it at him and I go, ha! I pull the trigger and nothing happens. It doesn't go bang. It doesn't go bang because I haven't cocked it. You see, this is a single action pistol. The trigger does one thing it releases the hammer. So if I haven't cocked it already, like this, then nothing will happen. Now that it is cocked, if I pull the trigger, it goes click. And had there been a bullet in it, it would have gone bang. And don't worry, all of these uh, guns, though they are real, have been cleared by a third party. They are quite definitely not loaded. Uh, right, so if I pull the trigger again now, again, nothing happens. So you've probably seen in the movies uh, guys doing something like this. It's sometimes called fanning. Um, what they're doing is they're catching this uh, lever on the back of the uh, uh, hammer and pulling it back like that. And if you have your finger down on the trigger all the time, this will allow you to do that over and over and over and over again. And you can fire off all your uh, cartridges pretty quickly. And you'll see that every time I pull back the lever, it turns the cylinder in the middle, uh, presenting a new bullet to the firing pin and bang. So that's what they're doing when they're doing that in the movies. They're fanning and that would enable you to fire very inaccurately, very quickly. So would you ever see someone fan a double action pistol? No, you wouldn't. A double action pistol, the trigger does two things upon being pulled. It pulls the lever back and then relieves, releases it. And as the hammer goes back, the, uh, the cylinder in the center turns as well. So. Now, if I draw and I've got a loaded pistol, I just have to pull the trigger and it goes bang. And I can do that again and again and again. There is no reason to fan this. But even if I did, because I'm such a show off, want to fan a pistol like this, it wouldn't work. So I pull the trigger, I then try to fan, which is actually quite awkward because the sights are a little bit uh, tall and they're above the, the back of the cocking lever. Um, yes, the, the lever goes back and forward, that's great but the, the cylinder isn't turning. So no new bullet is being presented to the firing pin. So there's no chance of this ever going bang. So not only is it unnecessary, it doesn't work. And the same could be said of this more modern Smith & Wesson. And you can see that the sights on this are very much uh, higher than the, 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 the cocking lever at the back. So it's extremely difficult to fan this. And again, exactly the same thing, exactly the same problem. The cylinder doesn't turn, so it's completely pointless. So. There are double action pistols and single action pistols. And the old fashioned ones are single action and this became superseded. Once double action had become popular, they never went back. Um, this is a slower weapon to use, uh, not just because it's single action, but also the cylinder doesn't come out. Whereas this one, the Enfield, this one breaks forwards like that. And as as the, uh, the barrel breaks forwards, there's a star in the middle of the cylinder which ejects all of the cartridges at once, so I can start reloading it straight away. And this uh, swings out to the side, but the same sort of thing applies. There's a rod here, and if I knock that, a star pushes out all the bullets at once, and I can start reloading. Um, so, though I have to load one bullet at a time, uh, there are speed loader clip things which make things faster, though actually in World War II, the troops weren't issued with them, so they'd be reloading one bullet at a time. With this, things are much slower. There is a gate at the side, and if this is half cocked back to about there, then I can turn the cylinder freely and open this gate, and then I can hope that the bullet, the one bullet that can be, uh, that can drop through that gate might fall out. But if it didn't, uh, and they very often got foul because of their old black powder cartridges, I'd have to push that to knock it out. And then I'd have to turn, and then I'd have to push again, 
turn. So you'd unload this one bullet at a time laboriously, and then you would get your bullet out, load one bullet at a time. So um, once you've fired your six, it's gonna be a long time before you get to fire another six with these old fashioned pistols. So though this pistol and this pistol look extremely similar, this one is actually a much more practical, fast-firing design. Thank you.